Right, so this is the second section of the lecture on chapter 3, unit 22. We've talked about uh, the definitions. We've talked about uh, starting, obviously, in Annex C. And um, there were the manifold, the offset, and how that there were only two types of, uh, two different types of mutually exclusive types of uh, appliances we are going to find it's either fan assisted or natural draft and there were only two types of uh, common vent or main vent uh, and that is either type b or uh, tie line masonry chimney in this part of the video we're going to answer 13 questions based on the knowledge we gather and also knowledge that i'm going to uh, depart here the first question is, and this is based on uh, the previous video, if you haven't watched it, you should. What is the name of the colored section? And you have the choices of common vent, common vent offset, vent connector, or vent connector manifold. Pause the video and answer this question. Right, so the correct answer would not be common vent because the red part here, the red part is just a part of the common vent, which is this whole section here. This whole section is common vent. So the red part would be only a part of it. And it's definitely not, com so wait, let's just remove A. And it's definitely not a common vent offset and I'm saying that because I don't see two elbows um, which define the common vent offset. So that's not true. Uh, vent connector, absolutely not. This is absolutely not a vent connector. These are vent connectors. As you can see, those vent connectors are bringing the vent gas streams and they are combining it in this square here. All right, so C is also incorrect, which leaves us with the only answer, only answer choice. And this is the correct one, vent connector manifold. Also, also, I could have told you, because there is only one elbow in the main vent, there is just one elbow in the main vent, that's also an indica definitive indication that this is uh, not an offset and it is a, a manifold. All right. That's the first question. Second question. What is the name of the colored section here? So please pause the video and answer this question. And the answer choices are common vent offset. Well, the rule for the common vent offset is that it has to have two elbows on the common vent. And it does. So this might be our correct answer. Is it a vent connector? absolutely not again those are the vent connectors that are bringing the vent gas streams and are combining it in this square here so absolutely not a vent connector uh, vent connector manifold well we just answered that question and the manifold doesn't have two elbows it has only one elbow so that's out of the question that's incorrect and how about common vent? Well, uh, the blue section here, the colored section here, is um, a part of the common vent. It is not the common vent. So we're not going to call it that, which leaves us with the only correct answer or choice. And it is a common vent offset. All right, let's move on to uh, more definitions. Mm, similar to gas piping uh, or the sizing of gas pipes that we did in the last semester and and similar meaning literally similarly uh, draft is just a fluid which is gas that is flowing in a conduit or a pipe and for that we need to definitely know the diameter the diameter we call it the size the diameter of uh, the vent that we're using and for the diameter we usually uh, measure this in inches 
and we go inside diameter. So if I say uh, this is four inches in diameter, what I am saying is that the inside wall diameter is four inches. The outside wall diameter typically will be one inch more and it will be five inches. The other uh, uh, important definition, as we talked about in the very first lecture, it was the stack height. And in, in an application where you have only one appliance, stack height is easy. It is where the uh, connector starts, where the uh, vent, this is the vent connector. That's where, that's where uh, it starts, all the way to the termination in the uh, atmosphere. So H is the total height of the vent run. Let's not forget that when we say height, okay, we mean only, only the vertical distance. And I know you might think that well, duh, it's very obvious, but sometimes we get confused. Sometimes uh, students will add this as well to the height of uh, H there. So that's not right. All right. If you have, on the other hand, two or more appliances, things might get a little bit more complicated. In a single appliance case, height is straightforward. It's starting from the vent connector here, starting point of the vent connector. But in a, you know, two or more appliances application, you have two vent connectors. And that means you have two starting points of the vent connectors. One is here and one is here. So which one is going to be the bottom of the measurement, which is height? According to your code book, again, we are always referring to Annex C. There is something called general venting requirements. So GVRs, general venting requirements start with C.2 and there are 16 of them. And we are going to get very familiar with those. All right. So C.2.12 is very, very explicitly saying that for multiple units of gas utilization equipment, aka appliances, all located on one floor. Yep, they are located on one floor. So this is not a multi-story application. Available total height H, so that H, which is this guy here, is measured from the highest draft hood outlet or flue collar. Okay, from the highest draft hood outlet or flue collar. And as you can see, this is the higher one even though there is no draft hood on uh, in here, there is no draft hood in here. So it makes this uh, the higher one anyway. So it starts from there up to the level of the cap or terminal. So this is your height. This is going to be your height. And as you can imagine, this might be a reason of confusion sometimes where to start measuring the height from. All right, and the other thing is this doesn't apply to multi-story installations. Please remember that. Also, vent connector rise. Remember, I've told you that similar to the main vent having that vertical distance called height, okay? So the vertical distance... is called height only for the main vent okay and the vertical distance is called rise for the vent connectors that's very important so the vent connector rise shall measure uh, shall be measured from draft hood outlet or flue collar to the level where the vent gas streams come together. So basically, this is this is the this is the flue collar, okay, and this is where the vent gases, uh, well, vent gas streams are coming together or combined. 
Okay, so that's your vertical distance right there for for this guy. And again, this is the um, the draft hood outlet, and this is that center line that we talked about, which is the combination of two vent uh, gas streams. As you can see, that we have the R, which is rise for this guy here. So two uh, appliances, and that is giving you two rises. Okay, so again, multi-story does not apply here. All right, I hope this is uh, clear, and let's test, let's put your knowledge or understanding to test. Question number three, vent connector rise of the fan-assisted appliance is between A, B, C, or D. All right, you can pause the video and answer this question. The correct answer is B and C. As we have just discussed, the rise, according to C.2.12, rise will be from the outlet of the draft hood or the blue color to the point where the two vent gas streams come together, which is B. That's that's your point. So that's going to be your rise for the fan assisted appliance. This is the fan assisted appliance. That means between B and C. That's your that's your rise for those two. All right. We said that the diameter is important, height is important, rise is important, but for the single appliance, there is no rise. Um, we don't talk about we don't talk about the rise for a single appliance. This doesn't exist for a single appliance. We don't care about that. Instead, we talk about the distance between the center line of a last vertical piece of common vent and the center line of first vertical piece of vent connector. So that's going to be your lateral distance. And that's very important for a, a single appliance application. Now, I'm going to ask you a question that is going to be more of a common sense. It's not necessarily related to what we have discussed so far, but let's say it's a common sense question. What is the minimum possible number of 90 degree elbows in a single appliance venting system with three feet lateral length? So, in other words, if you had an appliance, okay, and the venting system of this appliance went, went like this. Very, very crude drawing. And in this case, you have the center line go like this. And this is your lateral distance. Three feet of L lateral distance, right? So what is the number minimum uh, possible number of 90 degree elbows in a single appliance venting system with three uh, feet lateral length? As I said, it's a common sense question. Don't sweat over it. Don't overthink it for sure. It is two. You need, you know, one to change the direction and two to bring the di direction back to vertically up. But why is this important? Why is why am I even spending time on, on this? Well, in uh, let's clear that. In your um, code book, and specifically in the general venting requirements, as we discussed before, you can see that C.2.4, which I call the extra elbow GVR, I'm going to name each GVR from now on, and you're going to see how important that is. So C.2.4, I call it an extra elbow GVR, uh, a single appliance venting configuration with zero lateral length is assumed to have no elbows in the venting system. Oh, yes, yes, I do agree with that 100%. And looking closely at C.2.4, which I call the extra elbow um extra elbow uh, gvr it says that 
in the for all other event configurations so if you have a lateral distance that is not zero for single or multiple appliances each vent connector shall be assumed okay shall be assumed to have two 90 degree turns to create the uh, what we call the lateral distance however and this is why i call it the extra elbow gvr for each additional 90 degree turn or equivalent the maximum capacity of each individual vent connector listed in the venting table should be reduced by either 10 percent or 15 percent we're going to talk about that later the idea is if you have an extra elbow other than two elbows that are required as a minimum to create that lateral what will happen is you are going to reduce the capacity of that vent connector the reason is that every elbow present uh, presents resistance to flow and actually a big resistance to flow so therefore we reduce the capacity to account for that extra resistance to flow all right so let's just say that for the sizing purposes there are those four measurements that we talked about that are very important number one is the diameter that is what you're going to size anyway that is the unknown the other three dimensions are given to you namely the height that is given to you and uh, is given to you in in, in feet okay also it, you're going to have the lateral that is going to be given to you in the question the lateral distance for sure and also if you have more than one appliance you're going to be given the rise of each vent connector that is very important okay you're going to be given the lateral for the single appliance application and you're going to be given the rise value for each and every vent connector all right so uh two very quick uh comments before we end this por uh, this uh, part of the lecture is that when you have uh you know vent and vent connector diameters d are always equal for single appliance applications this i shouldn't say always um optimally uh, should be equal for single appliance installations you're definitely going to see that sometimes they are not equal uh, and and that's fine if there were another appliance which had you know uh, it's I would say uh, vent connector removed and now you you are left with one appliance and then they are the vent connector here is four inches and here the common vent is five inches that would be fine be, because the two appliance or more two or more appliance applications basically um sometimes end up with having different sizes sometimes three different sizes it is not it is not impossible to have four inch for this connector 5 inch for this connector and 6 inch for the main vent that is possible but if you end up with two different sizes like this you are uh, supposed to go and do your sizing and make sure that sizing is okay 5 inches is not too big or 4 inches is uh, okay to go into 5 inches as we can we're going to see there are rules that apply in this case so that's the end of the second uh, lecture video and in the third one we're going to do our uh, first step of vent sizing